Building my own shipping container home. Join me on my journey from construction to completion of my mortgage-free home on a homestead. So hello everybody, we are up bright and early. We are on our way to the land. This is the first time I've been there since I bought the land. And uh, the main thing we're gonna be doing today is sort of taming the land, the, the, the trees, the, the brush, the bushes and stuff. Random pack of dogs just staring. I wonder how dangerous that could get. And this here is actually the road where my land is. Wow. We're here, friends. Okay guys, so as you can see and hear behind me, my dad, he loves this kind of landscaping stuff, so he jumped in. I'm like, hang on bro, I gotta set the tripod up. I, I'm trying to film the stuff we're doing, but he just loves it, he jumps in. So while he's doing that, because there's only one brush cutter, there is the, the boundary by the left by the surveyor, and in fact, if you look down, there's the other one. There's the boundary right there, and the land spans out all over that. So I'm going to go trekking in here just to get a sense of the land because I have no idea what's there. So let's, uh, let's go. We are getting into the thick of it now. Beautiful sunrise. Uh, I'll tell you one thing guys, I'm going to adore watching the sun come up from the eventual patio deck of my container home. But you know, this is, you hear crickets, man. This is so thick. Look at this. I, I step into it. And look how far down my foot goes. God! Anything can be hiding in there. It, I, I'm, I'm, this is knee high. This is basically knee high brush. And your foot just disappears into an abyss down there. So I have gone pretty far now into the property. As you can see. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful breeze blowing right now. And, uh... I still got a ways to go if you see that silver silver post there. I'm gonna assume that that silver post is part of the fence boundary. The actual end of my land. So let's keep going. Once I get my container home built, I'll have all the time in the world then to think about what I wanna grow out here food-wise. Cause I wanna grow food, guys. This isn't just think outside the container, build a container home. This is think outside of everything. I wanna grow food out here, guys. All right, you can see my dad again. Doesn't look like he's moved an inch with that brush cutter. Oh my God, this is gonna take a week. We're gonna have to drive up here every day for a month to finish with a single brush cutter. Goodness. Good morning guys, another fine day 
to clear land. Uh, it's bright and early, it's like 6.30, the sun hasn't even risen yet. We're out here at Home Depot, guys. We're out here at Home Depot. And today we are upping our game. We're renting a brush mower from Home Depot, a brush mower. We had the brush cutter, that little needle that was taking forever. But today, my dad had the idea, let's get a brush mower, you know? <laughs> and actually here it comes now. Let's get a brush mower and let's actually, you know, let's actually do things the official and the right way. So the brush mower is coming right now. Bigger than I thought. Woo! Okay, so this thing is so damn big. This thing is so freaking big that we're gonna need a lot more room inside of the back of this truck. So we are reorganizing right now in the middle of Home Depot. Okay, brush cutters in. That thing was heavy as hell. But hopefully it'll do some heavy duty work. And we are back on the homestead. Looks like the weather has blessed us with another beautiful day. And uh, here we are again. It's been about two days, three days since we were last here. All right guys, so base camp has been established. We are set. We got our weaponry here. Pole saw brush cutter machete freaking hatchet thing well, you can't. we got safety because we all need safety so he just he loves to jump in first before anybody else and start using and cutting things and there it is the brush mower in all its glory just, just watch just watch Looks like it actually does a good job of taking these weed things and actually just ripping them to real pieces. Of course, obviously, it's, it's hard to do fine details around the tree stump, so I'll definitely be going back in later with the brush cutter. My God, horse, cow, what? Found it over there. Wow. So 
sun is going down. Maybe an hour or so left of sunlight. We are absolutely dead beat after a long, hard days of just murdering ourselves. This thing, you have no idea how much this weighs. How much do you think this thing weighs? 500 pounds? I don't know. No, not 500. Not 500. Just hundreds of pounds. 200, 200 pounds. We, lift it. we are so dead and we couldn't lift it. We couldn't lift it. We both tried and and we we're just we're taxed and so my dad came up with an incredible idea using the hump here in the land he's essentially created a perfect ramp so instead of having to lift it straight up four feet to get in the truck <laughs> using the hill it's a perfect ramp it's amazing this is almost this will be effortless practically at this yeah, point I wouldn't go that far. but oh Wow. We, we, who knows? We might, have, we might have been stuck out here all night. No. Nah. We had to start it up. Wow. Well, friends, the sun sets on my land. Another day. It actually looks very beautiful. Um, what an intense day today was. Totally pulverized the land, pulverized our bodies. Just 10 hours or more straight of work. Uh, but it paid off. The difference is undeniable. Major progress has been done. It's starting to get really real, guys. I wanna say thank you again for tuning in to Think Outside the Container. My hand's shaking as I hold this damn phone. Um, as always, be sure to subscribe down below if you wanna see the progress as I build my shipping container home here on this homestead. Click the bell notification icon so you're notified when the next video come out, comes out. If you're enjoying these videos and you want to support them, you want to see more of them, documenting the entire process of building a shipping container home, be sure to check me out on Patreon where you guys can support more videos. As always, anything's possible when you think outside the container. Good night, guys.